almost anyone working on climate change is involved in trying to build a climate narrative, whether for themselves, whether for family members, whether for their boss, whether for an audience, we're all involved in storytelling around climate change. And there are lots of different ways that you can use the climate web to support your narratives. And this video is going to explore one of those ways. Now, before that, I'm going to encourage you that if you're interested in the topic of climate narrative, go to the search field in the climate web, which if you're online is the lower left, and type in Olson Randy and click on Olson Randy when it comes up. You'll see a bunch of work here. Randy Olson's a very interesting communicator, uh, oceanographer termed Hollywood filmmaker. But we've developed in the climate web a, a particular section that devoted to Randy's work on what he calls the and but therefore uh, narrative model. And his view is that progressives and people interested in climate change need to be doing a much more effective job of developing their climate narratives. And so you can dig into this in much more detail in the climate web simply by searching for Olson comma Randy. Now, a specific way to help build narratives separate from this is the use of dated material. Dates are a great way of, of telling a climate story. And I'm just gonna show you a few of the ways that we can do that in the climate web. I'm first gonna go ahead and expand this Plex so that it's full screen. And then I'm, I've pinned a few tagged collections here at the top that you can refer to. This is not everything that's in here. I don't want to overwhelm us on the screen. But for example, you know, climate science, who said what, when. And what you can see here is you can just sort of walk through um, specific dates and walk through sort of a, a history of the climate science. And yes, it extends back farther than this. Uh, but you can also, and I'm not going to show this again for everything, but you can click on any of these thoughts and you can see where it came from. And this came from, in this case, it came from Nathaniel Rich's uh, Losing Earth, A Recent History. So all of the dates that you see in here, uh, you can source back to the original book or journal article or newspaper report. Now, another example is the oil sector, who said what, when. Click on that, it'll open up and you can track through basically what the oil sector has been saying about climate change since 1957 to you know, 2019-9. Uh, and again, all of these things are linked back to their original sources. If you click on business, who what, said what, when, there's more information because it's not just the oil sector. Again, you know, just pulling together tons of information from around the climate web to help you build a narrative. I'm going to click now on climate litigation, who said what, when, and again, sort of the whole history of climate litigation, how it's evolving, what's happening with it, all of it summarized in these one sentence, one line um, uh, bullet points that let you very quickly develop uh, a sense of who said what, when. There are lots of these things in the climate web, and it's a great way to help build a climate narrative. So that's one way that you can use the climate web, web to build your climate narrative. Lots of other ideas in the user's guide if you go to theclimateweb.com. Lots of other how can I videos that may be useful to you through the link that you see there on your screen. And we're happy to answer questions that you might have. Drop us a line. Thanks.